Yeah, this, this second scrimmage was about uh, uh, coming out and, and correcting uh, some things we felt like we needed to improve on for the first scrimmage. For example, in the first scrimmage, uh, we had 17 penalties total uh, throughout the 90 plays, uh, which I expected we would have a lot of penalties, particularly with you know, 25 new players in the program. And uh, tonight we reduced that to, to seven penalties. And um, I had specifically asked the officiating crew to to call it very tight, uh, to call everything. A lot of times in scrimmages, officials will uh, they'll just talk to the players and say, "Hey, you got to move up on the ball a little bit," or or am I calling a legal formation? Where you know Monday night in our first scrimmage and tonight in the second one they were throwing those flags. So much improved from an execution standpoint. Uh, the second thing was our disguise on defense, um, showing blitz uh, and then not coming or, or looking like we're playing a base defense and then bringing the blitz. That was outstanding tonight. I was just talking to Taylor Heineke before he went in. He said there were a number of times uh, where he was confused with what the defense was doing. He felt like they were baiting him uh, on more than one occasion, and that's important. We need to be able to do that. We need to be able to show some different looks on defense. So I was very uh, impressed with that. And uh, again, I continue to be impressed with the ball security of our offense. Uh, we led the league last year in turnover ratio. We were top 10 in the nation, and uh, we've carried that into this camp. So uh, very pleased with, with those different things we worked on tonight. Yeah, starting to, to really get a good sense of, um, of our, our new players um, on the team. There's, there's probably about, about half of those players right now, right around a dozen uh, that we're feeling like uh, have the ability to play uh, this year. That doesn't mean we're going to play uh, all 12 of them, but we feel like there's about 12 guys out of the new guys who uh, are going to help us. We've got an opportunity to play. Uh, we'll have one more time to really evaluate them in game-like situations uh, next Wednesday night, which will be our final uh, final scrimmage, and that's open to the public, 12 Monarchs. You're all welcome to come out and join us. Um, so we'll know. We'll have a really good idea after next Wednesday night uh, how many of those new new Monarchs will be, uh, will be playing against Duquesne. Yeah, the freight train Galen Evans, that was, uh, uh, we had a fumble right around uh, midfield and the ball happened to just pop off somebody's shoulder pad and into Galen's hands and uh, uh, off he went rambling from the, I watched him from the 50 to the 40 to the 30 to the 20 to the 10. It took David Washington, our quarterback, who's, who's really fast. David's probably a 4'6", 40 guy. Took David all the way to the end zone before he finally caught him and tackled him and then we had to get the big fella over to the sideline for some uh, for some water and some oxygen because uh, he was he was moving all 300 pounds of them. That was exciting to see. Those are the types of plays in scrimmage situations when you try to make it as much like a game as you can that you can evaluate new players like Galen Evans. And he's one of those guys that's definitely brought himself uh, to the forefront. I can see him right now being in the rotation and uh, one of those guys that I'm fairly confident is going to play this year.